Hello then, my name's Claire and this is Stitch Em Sew. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. Today's video is a Friday Sews video, but apologies, it's coming out to you a bit late. I think it will be out on the Saturday rather than Friday. So I apologise for that, And I, but I hope you still enjoy the video. Before I get cracking, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's been watching my previous videos, to everybody that's liked and commented and subscribed. I really do appreciate it. And if you're one of my lovely new subscribers, welcome. Thank you for joining me. And if you come over from Rachel's channel, French Seams, I really do appreciate you hopping over to see me. And I hope that you'll, you'll carry on watching and subscribing. And if you are one of my lovely regular watchers and subscribers, thank you so much for coming back time and time again. I really do appreciate it. So before I tell you about what I've been making this last couple of weeks, I'll just mention what I'm wearing. I always forget to do this bit. So for once I've remembered, this is a really simple make. It is the Tilly and the Buttons Lotta dress. I think this is probably around about a year and a half old make, but it still comes out every so often. And I just thought in this really hot weather that we're having at the moment, it's just nice and light and easy to wear. It's made from a viscose fabric. I picked this up from uh, Rainbow Fabrics some time ago now, so they won't have it in stock. But obviously they do specialise quite a lot in viscose fabrics along with desktop fabrics. So I will link them in the description notes below. As you know, there are lots and lots of us posting under the hashtag Friday Sews, which was created by the lovely Jen from the day in Jen's sewing room. So I'll link Jen in the description notes below as well. But don't forget, if you just type in that hashtag Friday Sews, you will find a whole host of us posting under that hashtag, bringing you lots of sewing content. So on to what I've been sewing up in the last couple of weeks since my Friday Sews. I think in my last video, I spoke about the fact that I wanted to finish off a make that I'd started and that was the Solar Tea by Paper Cut Patterns. Now the version that I was doing was just the simple sort of standard t-shirt version. There is also a version with a ruffle and I'll pop a picture in of the stock photo that shows that. Um, and you can also make a sweatshirt as well from the pattern but I've just gone for a very simple t-shirt. It's got a drop sleeve and then obviously you put another bit of sleeve on. I don't quite know what you call that. Is it a, no, I, I was going to call it a bracelet, but I guess a bracelet sleeve would be down there. I'm not quite sure what the terminology is, but, and I made it out of this viscose jersey and it's fabric. And this I had two and a half meters of. So I've also made another item and I'll show that to you in a minute. But as you can see here, it's got a the drop sleeve and if you were to insert the ruffle that would just go into that seam line here because of it being um, it's quite an oversized sort of boxy style but because it's in the viscose jersey it, it drapes quite nicely and it's very very comfortable I think if I was to make the ver um, make this again I would definitely use a viscose jersey because I think that's worked really well I think in a cotton jersey or a heavier weight jersey it may feel a little bit uh, not flowy enough for the oversized nature of this uh, t-shirt but I think next time I might try that ruffle detail because I think that would be quite pretty. So it's got quite a nice neckline on it, it's not too high, it's not too low. I didn't make any adjustments to the, the neckline at all. In fact I'm not sure that I made any adjustments to the pattern at all. I possibly graded between one side and another just at the waist and hips because I normally do that on most patterns um, and I possibly lengthen the pattern by an inch as well because I generally do that as well I can't quite remember I will try and pop those details up on the screen so this one you know it's a nice easy make to put together it was really enjoyable to sew a t-shirt I haven't made any for a little while after you know at the sort of when I first got into making sort of jersey things that was my sort of go-to thing but I haven't made any t-shirts for a while so it was really nice to 
finish this one off and and I've definitely worn this a few times since I've since I made it so yeah really pleased with this one and as I said I had two and a half meters of this fabric which was obviously way too much for just one t-shirt so I decided that I would cut out another pattern to try using this um, viscose jersey fabric and if you've been watching my channel for some time you will know that I have attempted to make the galaxy t-shirt by pattern scissors cloth, cloth twice before my first version was way too big my second version was too small and I was really hoping my third version would be just right so this is my third version I'll pop some pictures in of me wearing it I I'm overall fairly happy with it. The only thing that I would say about it is the uh, the sleeve head sits a little too low on my shoulder. It's sort of sitting about here and obviously it should sit up here um, and quite frankly that bugs me a little bit. The rest of it is fine. I have not lowered the neckline, as you can probably see. The actual pattern, the stock photo, I'll pop a picture in of that now, has got more of a crew neck. And I knew that I didn't want to have a high neck on it. So I've lowered the neckline quite considerably, I would say, by three or four inches, to be honest with you. And I just took a tiny bit off the, the, the sides and, and brought the, the back down by less than a centimetre I would suggest just to, to try and balance that out a little bit as I say I would say that these shoulders probably that sleeve head needs to start about there I would suggest but it's definitely wearable it's only since I've started sewing that that, that is something that I would notice I don't think if you weren't a sewer that you would think oh that looks wrong <laughs> particularly but yeah I'm not I think I've given this pattern a good go I've made three versions now and I think I <laughs> I'm happy to put this one to bed for now I know I could play around with the sleeve head and get that right but I just don't think I can be bothered to at this point also um, this week, well I think it was last Friday, the lovely Jane from the Dressmaker's Closet brought out a new pattern and that was her Nell t-shirt and dress. I think there's four versions. I think there's a sort of a standard t-shirt, sort of a crop t-shirt with a small peplum and then sort of a hip at length version, so sort of a crop t-shirt length if you like, but then sort of two tiers of um, ruffle do you call it just two tiers of um, fabric and then there's a maxi length version but the sort of the small standard t-shirt is very in some respects quite similar to, to this it doesn't have the puff at the top which actually I quite like it has got the puff sort of round the bottom of the arm and then there's sort of the armband which is similar to this and actually I think it looks really lovely so I think I'm probably going to look at investing in that pattern it, probably next month when I get paid. Um, so yeah, I think that will be one that I will look to make hopefully in September if not October. I don't mind that we're moving into uh, sort of the, the autumnal months during that time because I wear t-shirts all the, the year round. I, you know, I'll just put a cardigan over the top or a jacket or whatever. Um, and sometimes my the, the office <laughs> is boiling hot other days it seems to be quite cold so I often will wear a short sleeved uh, top of some sort with a cardigan in if I'm in the office um, at working rather than working from home so I think that you know I'm not worried about sort of investing in a t-shirt pattern as I go into the autumn months but I think that would be worthwhile so that was make number two now the other thing that I talked about making for these, this upcoming uh, sort of week was to make a start 
on my Megan Nielsen Brumby skirt. Now, again, if you've been watching my channel for some time, you will know that I've been banging on about this pattern for ages. In fact, I was hoping to make it. It's featured in several plans videos and hasn't got made. But I was determined that this month would be the month that I definitely made it. And I, I think I was at the point where I perhaps had printed off the pattern. I'm not quite sure. But I was hoping to have cut out the pattern and perhaps made a start on it. Well, I did that and I made it. I finished it. So this is my version. I've made it in a chambray fabric, a sort of a mid-tone chambray. Um, there are three different versions of this pattern. Well, technically kind of almost four. So uh, version A uh, is more for your kind of heavier weight fabrics, like a denim or a, a sort of a heavier weight cord. And that has sort of less gathering in it um, and, and is kind of more of a uh, above knee version. I guess you could lengthen it, but that's, the, that's what's shown in the pattern. The version B is, or two, is a longer length skirt that's got gathers and um, features the, the lovely pockets as well. And you can, that version comes as either kind of a, just above knee or kind of below to midi length type version. So that's kind of version two, but there's almost two options within that. And then the third option is a gathered type, so more of a simple pattern, a gathered skirt without the pockets, etc. It's just a very simple version. So I've gone with version B, uh, but with the version that kind of comes around about, I've made it to sort of round about knee length. And I'll pop a picture in of me wearing it. Now, I really liked sewing up this pattern. I really enjoyed making it. I hadn't made a Megan Nielsen pattern before, and I thought her instructions were really good. Uh, they're really sort of comprehensive there wasn't any part that I struggled with and there is a blog post also on the website that kind of gives a little bit more details should you uh, the, should there be any parts that you're struggling on etc so yeah really great from from that point of view I as I say I really enjoyed sewing this one up it's always a joy to sew with cotton because it just kind of does what you want it to do you iron it it stays with the you know the pressed up piece in you don't have to use hundreds of pins or clips because it sort of behaves and does what you want it to do so it's got a you know a couple of nice features you you the, the front is made of two pieces and you do some sort of nice top stitching down. It's got these lovely great big pockets, which I think are really lovely, quite deep and quite a nice feature. And on the back, it's got this lovely exposed zip. And that I, I think has gone in really nicely. I'm actually really chuffed with that. And yeah, really sort of pleased with the overall appearance of the skirt. Now, I think this is a really lovely pattern. As I say, I've really enjoyed making it, but I'm not 100% convinced of it on me. I, I think I will wear it, and perhaps the more I wear it, the more comfortable I will feel in it. The fit in general is fine. I think, I, you know, it feels nice around the waist. It doesn't feel uncomfortable or anything, or it doesn't feel too big either. But I feel like these the, the gathers are which obviously I'm I'm wearing sort of reasonably high waisted make my stomach and hip area which I don't necessarily want to look bigger look a bit bigger than I would perhaps want them to look I think my when I wear my Jennifer Lauren sort of bastion collots that have got like the fitted waistband but don't have kind of gathers to it I feel like that is a nicer sil silhouette on myself I feel more comfortable in that now it may well be because I made my um, bastion collots a good few weeks ago now and I've got used to wearing them and I feel kind of comfortable in those but I I'm not a hundred percent about this skirt I love the great big pockets I really like this exposed zip feature on the back I think it's really lovely 
but I think I would prefer if it wasn't so gathered but then again I quite like the volume that obviously it creates sort of in the swishiness so I don't really <laughs> basically is what I'm saying if anybody's got any pattern suggestions of a skirt that's kind of similar but doesn't have the the gathering let me know again even so I don't know whether like even pleated would really work that well either I don't know I'm gonna have to have a a look into some more skirt patterns but if you have got any suggestions I'd love it if you would drop me a comment about it uh, that would be really really useful thank you and yeah we'll see what happens and whether I you know fall in love with it or whether I manage to find an, an alternative skirt pattern now I've made one more thing it's not a garment it's more of a, a craft item I would say sometimes I want to do a bit of sewing but I don't necessarily want to follow along with a pattern or I don't want to make a bit of clothing but I just want like a really easy quick win that I can sew up in like an hour or something that can give me my kind of sewing fix without me having to do lots of preparation or follow along with a pattern or something I can just kind of be a bit creative on my own so I decided that I wanted something to put my pens in um, and pencils in for for work but I didn't want anything that was too bulky I didn't want a free uh, standing pencil case as such because I have to sort of pack up all my stuff at the beginning um, to take to work for the days when I'm in the office and then when I'm at home I have to kind of set up everything at home again so I just wanted to make my life easy so what I've made is um, a little sort of pencil case that attaches to my my notepad here that I use for work this is just a really plain boring note notebook so it does sort of spice it up a little and it's just got a, um, a zip in on there and I've just put some take it off there elastic on there now I didn't follow any pattern for this I just made it up on the spot it's not my best design I think if I was to go to the trouble of making something else I would probably make it a little bit narrower but I'd also box it out just very slightly just to give a tiny bit of depth more depth on it but I think for the general purpose of what I needed, it's fine. I've just used some off cuts. This, this fabric here, I made a, the Sorbetto top from Seamwork out of, and this was just a fat quarter remnant that I had. It wasn't even a whole fat quarter. It was just a bit that I had left that I'd saved. I wouldn't, I'm not particularly in love with the color combination that I've done. I. <laughs> As I say, I literally just grabbed two bits of fabric um, just to kind of have a play, really. So, yeah, that's just my little my little craft project for one evening when I just I didn't want to spend lots of time at the sewing machine, but I wanted to to get my sewing fix, if you like. So in the last couple of weeks, I haven't really bought anything particularly in relation to sewing other than a couple of haberdashery items so I bought the zip that I needed for the Brumby skirt because I didn't have that type of zip in and I've bought a few reels of, of um, thread and that's about it oh I know what else that I bought I also bought some new rotary cutter blades not particularly interesting I know but it did make me realize how ridiculously overdue I was to in changing my rotary blade cutter and how much I've been struggling for probably months with the same rotary cutter blade from when I changed it previously I should have changed it way before so this is a bit of a public service announcement that if you are a rotary cutter person rather than using sort of scissors mainly to cut out fabric then check your rotary cutter blade it might be time to change it because oh my goodness it made has made such a difference in terms of cutting out fabric I can't believe I left it so long I as you know if you watch my channel 
I often talk about the fact that the cutting out stage is my least favourite, but I have to say I did a cutting out sort of session um, last weekend and it made it so much easier, so much nicer. So I'm um, note to self, change rotary cutter blade much more often. <laughs> so in terms of plans for the coming week or so, there's a few things that I mentioned in my August plans that I'm still yet to make. One of those is the Iris t-shirt by Forget Me Not Patterns and that's already cut out and I've popped it in one of my project bags that I use. Um, <laughs> I haven't got, they're not quite as fancy as the ones that the lovely Ruan and all of her people that have bought similar ones have now got but it does a similar type of job and I'm using this is just a part of the pattern here I think this is the yeah, the cuffs of the sleeve and it's in this sort of teal cotton jersey fabric so looking forward to getting that one sewn up and yeah another t-shirt to add to my recent collection of t-shirts that I'm making Another thing that I need to start work on is my collaboration project with the lovely Rachel from the French Seams. If you haven't watched my most recent video, that was my roundup of my July makes combined with my August plans. And I also spoke about the fact that I was doing my collaboration with lovely Rachel and the pattern that we were doing. So. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that in the cards above and also in the description notes below and also the link to um, Rachel's YouTube channel as well, should you want to check her out if you haven't or if you're not already subscribed, which I'm sure you are because she's absolutely wonderful. So that's another thing that I need to definitely crack on with. I know that Rachel has already started hers. She's the streets ahead of me, so I need to get going on that one too. And the other thing that I've got in my mind, and I, this wasn't in my plans um, video, as you know, uh, I tend to deviate a little from my plans. I get myself an idea. Last month, I didn't stick to my plans hardly at all. <laughs> so some of my plans rolled over into August, hence the sort of combined video of July, plan, uh, July makes and August plans. Uh, but I bought this piece of fabric a few weeks ago and I've shown it in one of my previous videos it's a piece of viscose fabric I bought this one from first for fabrics I've got about a meter and a half of this I think and I'm really wanting to make a um, Friday pattern company sagebrush drop oh my goodness couldn't remember the name of it um, and I'd like to get this cut out and sewn up because I've got blue colours on my overlocker and uh, it would save me having to uh, you know re-thread it when I come round to sewing up this fabric but I may just have to think right let's be practical and start on my collab project after I've done my my iris t-shirt so uh, yeah not quite sure wh whether or not I'll get that one sewn up but it's in my mind that I'd quite like to as well so that's I think is everything that I've sewn everything I've been buying the plans that I've got so all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for watching I really hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please do give me a like if you haven't subscribed I'd love it if you would consider doing so and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified of any future videos and if you have got any suggestions for me about uh, skirt patterns or uh, anything else you think that I might like to know about then please do drop me a comment in the comments below I love catching up with people in the comments below I try to get back to people as, as quickly as I can I do answer everybody that um, comments on my videos uh, if I haven't if I haven't replied please do send give me a nudge but I think that I answer to everybody so thank you so much if you do take the time to comment it is greatly appreciated but 
I think I will wrap up and say goodbye to you all for now. I hope you have a fantastic week or two until my next Friday sews and I hope you get to fit in some sewing as well. So take care. Happy sewing. Bye bye.